Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a trip outside of my garage to check out my case graveyard. Yes, I have enough cases to make an entire graveyard full of tombstones to useless, broken, too big, etc. cases. First up, this one is uh, basically all of those things. It's too big, it's useless, it's broken, it's covered in cat hair. And uh, I just, yeah, I don't have a really good use for it, at least for trombone. This is a Protec bass trombone case from the late 90s, early 2000s. I think it's probably the biggest case ever made for any bass trombone, for any trombone. It's so big. Just to give you an idea of how thick this thing is, there's my admittedly small hand against the thickness of this thing. They're just so big. Um, I got the 50T3L in this case, um, and I don't think one of the zippers works. So it's already broken, it's covered in cat hair, and now I use it actually in my garage. I put it at a certain distance and I drive my car until I hit it, and that's when I know when to stop. So it does serve a actually very useful purpose, just not holding trombones. Ooh, cops, or the, probably the fire department. Anyway, here's the rest of the graveyard. Spooky! Um, up first, Edwards small bore case, the T302 model. Just got this yesterday, and yes, I got an Edwards inside it, and it's flood damaged. You can see how it doesn't really match up anymore. All the leather is peeling off. Um, I think one of the latches might be broken. In any case, smells awful. Not gonna keep it. Totally useless. Would have been nice to keep that one, actually. This was a 50B2 case, bot case, actually in perfect condition, but I hate these things. They're so big. It's just about as big as the Protec over here, but even less useful and not very protective. They're just so huge. And even for storage, which I guess it's okay for, it takes up so much space that, again, not, not worth the effort. Next up is another bot case, the small tenor French style case which they sold up until like the 70s. Awesome cases, I actually would keep this, but it, you can see it was trash when I got it. It has like two working latches, the hinges are totally messed up, the ends are getting mashed in, just not worth keeping. Next up, the case my old George Roberts came in, has zero working latches, hinges are busted, and there's no way to keep the horn safe inside. So it sits out here. Next up, a King HN White Alligator, a uh, coffin case for 3BF. Yes, I just got one of those as well. Yes, another 3BF. I have three of them now. In any case, you can see this one is flood damaged. Um, it's totally messed up. And otherwise, I would keep it because these are super cool cases. Not useful, but good for storage. Um, this one is an even cooler case that came in perfect condition. This is a 2B case, for, uh, King 2B, H and White from uh, 1947 came in literally perfect condition, but it smelled bad. It had the must, the musty smell. And once that gets in an older case, there's no getting rid of it. I actually left it outside to see if that would go away. And uh, in the case of like the one day that I left it out, it rained and so it got ruined anyway. Like I said though, it was going to be ruined in any uh, circumstance because that musty smell does not go away. Okay, there's mosquitoes out here, hurry up. King 607 case, um, the hinges on the backside totally messed up. So the whole case just kind of like moves like this and the interior fittings aren't really like strapped in anymore. So stuff just kind of flies around. And last up, another King case. I have a lot of those for some reason. Another 3BF case, a little bit later than the alligator here. Um, with no working hinges and the end is completely busted in and all the stuff inside moves around again totally useless case I'm only keeping these because uh, They're really big and they don't fit in trash cans. So I have nowhere to put Cases if I want to throw them away the plan is to get a truck Which is actually happening in the future and they will all get driven to the dump and yeeted into the trash Don't worry. These cases are not really being wasted because there's nothing to waste. They are trashed cases. The horns inside, basically every one of these cases has served a good purpose. The cases themselves, yeet, get yeeted. And then this one I get to run into with my car every time I park it. That's all I got for today. I'm gonna to stop getting eaten alive by mosquitoes and I'll see y'all next time.